Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to ACF Arena for tonight's contest between Norwell and your Brockton Boxers. At this time, we have both teams lined up at the blue line for the playing of our national anthem. Hello Brockton and welcome to AZF Arena where BCU, BCA Sports presents Brockton Boxes Hockey against the Norwell, Norwell Clippers and the faceoff is won by Brockton cleared out. These teams eerily similar so far this season. Brockton coming in at 1 and 3. The Norwell Clippers coming in at 1-3-1. One, one. Speaking with coach, both coaches before the game. These teams are evenly matched, so we should have a Jim Dandy bond burner tonight. That play is offside. And don't you fret, folks. Mad Dog Matt Nelson will be back doing play-by-play -play very soon. He went on assignment across the wilderness, over the Himalayas, to find all the answers. He came back in typical Mad Dog, Matt Nelson fashion, empty-handed. Norwell controls the puck. And no icing. Touched by a Brockton player. In net tonight, we have none other than Dominic Massaro. Peyton Sylvia has control of the puck. Kicks it out. Dumped in. And a chase for the puck. After it is Peter Sylvia. Norwell gains control, dumps it out. Ooh, Norwell trying a little back door. A little bit of rush. Oh, he hits the pipe. Out comes Jalen Bridges. Over to Crookshank. Crookshank not afraid to use that body. We've seen this is our third televised game with Brockton. And one thing that we've noticed the common theme is they get off to a hot start each period. Can they sustain it? That is the question tonight. And we have an icing. Hope uh, you and yours had a happy new year. We are joined tonight, I am joined tonight by none other than postman Mike Simmons on camera. But not only that, we have Brockton's TV club here with us. This is the largest hockey production these eyes have seen, and maybe 
in PCA history. Well, we have multiple cameras and we have Brockton High students that are willing and able to man those cameras. They're led by their instructor, Nick Calco. Back to the action, Norwell controls the puck and they break it out. Shot on net wide. We'll learn the names as we go along tonight. A couple of names to keep in uh, numbers, names and numbers to keep an eye on tonight for Norwell. Eddie Fuchia, a forward and a captain. Ooh, hard hit along the board. Sam Williams, also a forward. And Charlie Dole, tri captains. Dole would be number four. Save Massaro. Covers up. There'll be a face off to the right of Massaro. Just underway here at AZF rank. We got a healthy crowd tonight. Decent crowd from Norwell made the trek over to the city of champions. Want to feel what a champion feels like, so come to Brockton. Why not? Sylvia clears it out. It's corralled by Hayden McCarthy from Norwell, winds it up. And it's out. Dump back in. McCarthy goes back and chases, regroups. Waiting for it is Ryan, Ryan Flannery. Good job pinching along the boards. As the puck goes into the corner. And around we go again. Brockton doing a nice job of keeping the puck in. Both teams feeling each other out as Ben Martin. Ooh, solid hit. Good contact. Over in the corner, there comes the other Sylvia, Peter Sylvia. After last game, we didn't get to the three stars. We will tonight. There is no question about it. Retrieved by Ben Martin. Good forechecking by the captain, Fachia. Sylvia goes along the boards. Good contact, but controlled by Norwell. Oh, nifty. Pass out in front goes wide. Another pass out front. Mm, dangerous. Here comes Peter Sylvia on the break. He's got El Camille with him. Oh, didn't have the stick down. Right under the stick. Keep the stick on the ice, folks. Keep the stick on the ice. That's Matt Young for the Norwell Clippers. Moving in fast. Oh, Massaro, nifty. Covers up. Both teams with chances early on. Pre-even match as we approach the 10 minute mark in the first period. Face off to the left of Massaro, won by Norwell. Back to the point. And around the boards. Trolled by Martin. Martin playing good defensive game early on here. Aggressive. And there he goes and throws the body. Peter Sylvia winds it up over to El Kami. Loses control of the puck. Dumped in by Norwell. And out. Ooh. Krushnik just hammered. Shot save, Masaro. Along the boards. Birmingham. Oh, Masaro is just getting peppered. Open net. Side of the net. There's a flurry of activity in front of Masaro. Brockton can't control the puck. They have some tired legs out there. They have a line change in a bit. Shot wide. Norwell keeps the pressure on. Brockton looking for a whistle any way they can, short of a penalty. And the puck is kept in, shot wide. My goodness. Finally cleared out by Krushnik. Six minutes gone in the first period, no score between the Boxers and Norwell Clippers. Peyton Sylvia, good work along the board, gets the puck out. O'Connell, 
tries to connect with Jake Gajir, but no such luck. Oh, a wicked slap shot over the head of Massaro. My goodness. Some head hunting there. Sylvia gets it. Can't connect. And Norwell gains control of the puck. Luke Norton dumps it in. For Chia, there is a reason he is the captain. He is everywhere. Good teamwork by Norwell, keeping the puck behind Massaro. Oh, and an errant pass. No icing. Norwell plays the puck, gets control. So some definite scoring chances early on with both teams. Even though we have no score, entertaining so far. As Brockton, back to Sylvia. Shot blocked. We had our stat team look up the numbers from the last game, the lone Brockton victory so far this season. Sylvia, out of 45 possible minutes, 35. Not an exact science. We do have a stopwatch. Postman, he's only human. He has the camera. He can only... He is the postman, but he's only, he is only human. He can only do so much, so... 35 minutes, the over-under with... We'll give or take one. As Norwell dumps the puck in. Sylvia goes back to retrieve. Ooh, stops on a dime. Nice job. Kept in by Norwell. Norwell finishing their checks earlier on. As Justin Spataro laying some, laying some body. But Brockton gains control of the puck. Kate O'Connell dumps it in around the horn. Over to Krushnik. But Norwell takes and gains control of the puck. That was Sam Williams for Norwell, another captain, as the puck is dumped in by Sylvia. Ooh, Norwell almost a terrible, terrible giveaway, but they gain control. Oh, Sylvia was sitting on that one. Oh, like sitting on the porch during a warm summer day with some lemonade. Sylvia was waiting for that one. But Norwell gets it out. Race for the puck. Dumped in. Where Sylvia regroups. Puck's not cleared. Now it's finally out. And uh oh, Norwell coming in, run a break. There's number 22 again for Chia. Man, he is making things happen tonight. If I am pronouncing your name wrong, Eddie, I do apologize. As we have stoppage in play, the faceoff will be to the right of Masaro with just a little bit more than five minutes left in the period. Big face off here. One by Brockton. Not out. I stand corrected. It's out. It just makes perfect sense the netting around not only a hockey rink, but baseball. Why it wasn't done years ago, we'll never know. But times change. And we as approve as a society. Peter Sylvia can't get a handle on it, but his brother picks it up. Peyton Sylvia rush back in. Kicked out. First time I'm calling number 30's name, Sean Ennis, the goalie for Norwell. As the game has slowed down a little bit. Having said that, Brockton on a rush. Ooh, nice defense by Norm Norwell. I will say that Jalen Bridges made a nifty move, but just great defense. Oh, and there was a shot put out front. Couldn't get a handle on it. So close. 
yet so far. Back, Sylvia fakes the slapper. That's one of his signature moves. Dump back in and around the world we go again. That is the sailor's way. Out, no icing. Down to the Clippers end of the ice. We have a line change. Two teams, both teams changing lines. And number 18 for Norwell, Harrison Reed, flying, laying in the body. Puck out front, good defense by Birmingham. Just real no flow to the game to this point. It is back and forth, but we're between the blue lines at this point. Easy stop by Massaro, but Noel gains control of the puck. Pass out in front. Ooh. Got around an edge a little bit on the heel of the stick. Just couldn't connect. The puck is out. Delayed off sides is called. Or oh, so we thought. Massaro covers up with 3-10 left in the first period. We have no score. A promising start to the Brockton season. 1-3 doesn't reflect how competitive they've been in the majority of these games, including Mansfield, which, oh, nice save by Massaro right off the faceoff. El Camille takes it, dumps it in. Jalen Bridges goes for it. And, oh, we got Sylvia on the break, but the puck's jumping tonight, folks. Save, Ennis. As I pulled into AZI parking lot on the campus of Brockton High School, I saw the Norwell team get off the bus. They were, in Pete Carroll's words, pumped and jacked. Ready to go. Bridges. Shot blocked. And the coach, Jim Casagrande, very helpful pregame, shot blocked, uh, told me that they were excited about this one. They see where they match up, how they stack up with a Division I team. Norwell is not in Division I. But in hockey, delayed offsides. In hockey, uh, sometimes that matters not. You see, you normally see it. As Norwell gains the rush, gains the line. Ooh, a nice Ben Martin laying the body. And we have a penalty coming up. Who will it be? We have interference called. And it looks like Owen Ebsery is going to the box. Two minutes for interference with 129 left in the period. Let's see if Brockton can put one on the board. First power play tonight for both, either team. We have Sylvia and Birmingham on the point. Bridges to take the face off. Brockton controls the puck. And Sylvia can't hang on. He'll regroup. Out to Bridges. Bridges on the rush to the right. Around the net. Back to Sylvia. Bridges. Shot. Save, Ennis. We have one minute. One minute left in the period. And Norwell on a break. Shot wide. I think Masaro got a piece of that. I'm not sure. Here's a high stick. Play on. As Sylvia has it with under a minute to play. Brockton trying to get this power play going. Birmingham back to Sylvia. Over to Bridges. Oh, a nifty move by Bridges. Oh, we tried it again. And he worked. It worked. 
Sylvia. Back to Bridges. Out in front. And Brockton, another odd man rush by Norwell. A pretty pass. Oh, another one off the heel. Off the heel, my goodness. And that'll do it for the first period. An entertaining one. Several scoring chances by both teams. But after the first period, Brockton Boxer zero, Norwell Clippers zero. We will be back right after these messages that you don't want to miss. Trust me. I see you mobbing over her. Let's go. Let's mob. Let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Let's We are back at AZF Arena. You are looking at AZF Rink, where second period action is about to begin between your Brockton Boxers and the Nor Norwell Clippers. I keep saying Noel. Still have Christmas on my mind. No score after one, and the start of the second period begins. Brockton is on the power play for another 30 seconds. As the puck is cleared, Massaro dumps to Sylvia, who winds it up. And over to Bridges. Over to Krishnik. Shot wide. Nobody at the point, so the puck is cleared. And that'll do it for the power play. As Brockton works the way up the ice, over to Birmingham, dumps it in. Ennis. Guides it to his right. Bridges grinding in the back. Little tic-tac-toe with Krishnik. Oh, excuse me, El Kami. But Norwell has control of the puck. And Sam Williams, the captain, one of the tri-captains, goes it out. Shot! Blocked. Ooh, Bridges felt that one. Yes, there is padding, folks, but there are certain pots that are not quite covered as the puck is out. And the faceoff will be in the Brockton zone. To the right of Massaro. Taking the faceoff is Dante Massaro. As it's wound around the boards. And offside, Massaro was offside, as O'Connell had ideas. Postman had a good point. Norwell was really laying the body that first period. And uh, I'd say the advantage in the first period went to Norwell. Uh, both teams hustling, grinding, but Norwell not afraid to throw the body around. Some punishing hits. As we're along the boards, Brockton trying to clear, does. O'Connell just runs through our Norwell defender, and the puck is dumped in. Line change for Brockton. Kicked out by Ennis. 
And... Stoppage in play. Face-off will be outside the Norwell end. Pichier takes the face off, won by Norwell. Giving room to roam, but a turnover. And we have some action. Flannery trying to look for somebody in front, couldn't find anybody. As Norwell comes out flying. Shot wide, save Massaro. The net comes loose, stoppage in play. As Brockton changes up lines. Out now are Peter Sylvia, Jalen Bridges. And did I say Peter Sylvia? If I did, I'm repeating myself. It's tough getting old, folks. Don't do it if you, well, do it. But keep that memory shot. Age gracefully. And out with the puck is Brockton. Bridges dumps it in. Sylvie on the forecheck. Oh, a beautiful pass. Norwell on the break. Oh, Massaro comes out. Gamble, the gamble pays off. As the puck is kept in by Norwell. A methodical pace so far, delayed offside. As Brockton gathers the puck out, Ben Martin. Over to Sylvia, Sylvia trying to gain control of the puck. So it's one-on-one -on -one battles that determine a winner and a loser. Sylvia. A shot to score! Is that? That is from Luke Norton, number 24, putting Norwell out in front, one nothing. It was a nifty move. It was pure hustle, pure determination by Norwell. It was a one-on-one -on -one battle, one. And Norton did the rest. Let's see how Brockton responds. O'Connell. Puck gained. Norwell gains control. A shot, another goal! Mercy me, mercy my. That can't be Norton again, can it? It is indeed. Holy cow. A night you're, it's, he's having a night you could only dream of, and we're not even halfway through the second period. My goodness, Norwell with two quick ones. Two nothing. Again, Norwell just seems like they have an extra hop in their step. They're out working, out hustling, and out hitting Brockton right now. Oh, Pepper with another shot. It's a barrage. It's an assault on Massaro. Can the defense hold up? Shot blocked out in front. Norwell has just taken it. Coming out of that, coming into the second period, out of the dressing room. My goodness, they have just taken it right to Brockton. As the puck is kept in by Norwell. Brockton desperately trying to get it out. And finally, they do. Dumped in by Adam Flynn. And there's some forechecking by El Kami. Takes the body. As Brockton gains control, can't do much with it. 
It's a pinball. And dump back in. Good defense by, by the forwards of Brockton. It just seems that every loose puck Norwell's getting to. They are skating. And Brockton must ramp up their game in order to get back into this one. Although it's only 2-0, another goal, and they're really in the hole. For all you Dr. Seuss fans, that was a rhyme. As the puck is in. Ooh! Bodies are flying out in front of Massaro. Ah, uh, if you can hear it. That's a little Joan Jet for you. Ow! Ah, Joan Jet. A shot wide. Again, AZF Arena, if you don't want to spend the money to go to a dance club, all you need to do is catch a hockey game, hear some tunes, spend some time with loved ones. So you need to come out here and enjoy the action live. But if you don't, we're happy to bring the action to you. As Norwell keeps the puck in, but out of play and out of zone, out of the Brockton zone. Coach Cunningham, normally stoic on the sideline, uh, talking it up with some of his players. A message or two. Probably one of the messages is skate. Keep skating. And Jake Gagier just does that. Kept in by Sylvia. But we have a potential breakout. Norwell on the attack. Wide of Massaro. And another goal! Norwell is threatening to break this one wide open. As my goodness, do we have a hat trick? I'm not sure if that was Luke Nor Norton. Let's confirm with the PA announcer. Every time the young man's on the ice. That's a natural hat trick. The assist was by Eddie Fatushia, and he was, he's been all around the ice all the first period into this period. So congratulations to Luke Norton with the hat, a natural hat trick. And we have a penalty coming up on Norwell. That's a good old fashioned high stick up around the chin. Yes, teenagers bounce back at a young age, but he'll feel that one tomorrow. Captain Sam Williams having a conversation with the referee. What happened? He thought it, it might be matching penalties, but no. Brockton on the power play again. Desperate for a goal. Down 3-0 with 17, 715 left in the second period. Norwell gains control of the puck and out. And here we go. Sylvia on the attack. Shot blocked. And cleared out. We don't have a mute button, so if I did sneeze into your living room or whatever device you're watching from, I do apologize. As I said, you know, sometimes it's not fun getting old. The cold weather, yuck. 
All right, back to the action and offsides. They call Birmingham offside. What happened is Luke Norton is a man on a mission tonight, and he flattened Birmingham into offside territory. Talking with Norwell coach Jim Casagrande. He had Norton as one of the players to look out for, and no doubt he has delivered. Brockton trying desperately to get something going, and here it is, Peyton's place. Can it be once again? Sylvia dashes down the left-hand side. Over to El Camille. Back to the point. Bridges has it. Over to Sylvia, oh, and out. Norwell on the attack again. A shot high and wide. Massaro must be shell-shocked. It's just been an onslaught this entire period for 10 minutes. He's just been fired upon with pucks coming from the left, right, sideways, up, down. Brockton is still on the power play. Sylvia making a rush. Puts it on net. Ennis. Puck down low. Out in front. Back to Sylvia. And the net is dislodged. Timing poor. With only two seconds left in the penalty. Brockton will have the face-off in the Norwell end. Massaro taking the face-off. Back to the point. Birmingham shoots wide. Over to O'Connell. Penalty is up. O'Connell going towards the net. Shot. Save. Ennis. A nice little save. Nice little glove save. Brockton has to be more aggressive charging to the net. There's been a little too much dancing and not enough skating. And that's why with five minutes left in the second period, Norwell is up 3-0. Norwell wins a faceoff. Kept in by O'Connell. O'Connell working shot. Save. Massaro, nice shot on net. And you can't score if you don't shoot. Yes, Captain Obvious, it is true. It's very difficult to score without shooting the puck on net. Massaro, I think he was trying to put that one on net. To no avail, Norwell with the puck. It's controlled and out. Sylvia dumps back in. Controlled by the Clippers. That's much easier to say for me than Norwell. I don't know why. It's not a complicated word. As the Clippers gain control, kicked out to the captain. Fatushia, wide of the net. And Norwell just dumps back in. Not cleared. There he is again, Luke Norton. Excellent pressure by the Clippers. They do not look like a 1-3-1 one, one team by any means. Shot on Massaro, save. And the puck is iced. With 3.44 left in the second period, it's the Clippers three, the Boxers nothing. It was an icing call, so the faceoff will be to the left of Massaro. Ennis has been pe was peppered a little bit in the first period. He's been tested a couple of times here in the second period, but he's come up lights out. And uh, that's why the goose egg's on the board. It's unlike Brock in their previous games. First half of the each period looked very good. 
but not this period. This has been a rough one. Three goals, unanswered goals by the Clippers, all by number 24, Luke Norton. As the puck is taken out. And cleared into the Brockton end. Birmingham. Over to El Kami. Can't get it out. That's over to Bridges. Bridges, nice pass. Oh, excellent defense. Oh, Bridges coming in. Great effort. Just couldn't corral it. As the Clippers come on the breakout. We have a three on two. Oh, and there's a goal. Well, nothing's working right now, folks. It's that simple. The Clippers are simply taking it to them. They control the ice. They've controlled the pace of the play. And Brockton, to this point, has no answers. The goal was scored by Captain Sam Williams, assisted by Harrison Reed, number 18, in your booklets. Sylvia winds it around and out. Clippers back to retrieve. That was Derek Layden. A stick was lost. Actually not lost, left. as Krishnik sends it in. And an attempt at a body check by Ben Martin, trying to show some signs of life, trying to get the, the team going. Just Norwell has just done a nice job all around, very impressive. Peyton Sylvia, broken up. Ooh, big play by Birmingham. That was a breakaway written all over it. As Birmingham breaks up another play. Very impressed with Birmingham. Comes to play every game. Solid as a rock. Willing and able to mix it up. Bang the body, take the body. Just a little bit of everything. Very impressive. Boxer as the puck is out. Brockton gains control, it's Bridges. Oh, he lost control of the puck. As the puck is in the Brockton end and out. One minute left, One minute left in the period. As Birmingham goes into the boards, he's again not afraid to mix it up, comes out with the puck. Birmingham looking for something, shot, ooh, Ennis, right on top of it. He's down on his pads, you go high on him, it's a goal. Possible delay of game waved off. Sylvia tries it up high. Ennis with a block of save. Down four nothing with just over 30 seconds left in the second period. Brockton needs a goal. Bridges will take the face off. His forward partners are Sylvia and El Kami. And we have Birmingham and Peyton Sylvia on the point. Peter Sylvia taking the face off, won by the Clippers. But Bridges comes in, scoops it up. Back to Sylvia, shooting high. He must be listening. How could he be listening to me? He does it all. Maybe he did here. Shoot high. And there he goes up again. Kept in. Sylvia. Again, another shot. Block a save. Ennis.
as the second period comes to a close. The Norwell Clippers with four goals. An impressive showing. Brockton has to be frustrated. They played a solid first period and simply came out flat. Coach Cunningham going back to the dressing room. And he is a man with a purpose right now. I'm sure there'll be a talking to in the locker room. So, through two periods of play, the Norwell Clippers four, your Brockton boxer zero. Stay tuned for third period action, but first, another message that will enhance and enrich your life. See you on the flip side. Gotcha. <laughs> I surrender, I surrender. All right, pal. Get ready for the day, buddy. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Do we have a gun? What's up? Do we have a gun? Why do you ask that, kiddo? Can I play with it? No. No, absolutely not. It's not a toy. You know that. Do I? I bet it looks like one. Yeah, well, it's not. Anyway, I need it to protect you, your sister and mom. From what? From bad guys, like on TV. But what about the eight kids who get shot every day by mistake? Their daddies probably thought they were safe too. Where'd you hear that? TV. Yeah, well, maybe we don't believe everything we hear on TV. Where do you keep it? <laughs> it's hidden. I bet it's on the top shelf of the closet, under your sweatshirts. Is it loaded? It's not, I, I keep the bullets. In the boots with the red laces, and the chest beside the bed, I haven't found them yet, but I'm sure I can. You always told me to be curious. Remember when I found my Christmas gift? I'm a good climber, you know. No, no, that's not what I meant. Look, I, I need to be ready if someone breaks in. But what about when it's just me and Mom? You taught me to be brave. I could use the gun to protect her. No, Justin, I promise. I'll teach you how to handle a gun when you're old enough. And what if I don't make it to old enough? I could get bullied and decide it's too much for me. It would be so easy with our gun. Our gun? No, buddy. My gun. But it is our gun in our home. Happens all the time. I'll make sure that doesn't happen. I'm always here for you. But, Dad, you're not always here. Home fire drills give your family a plan of action. In a home fire, you may have less than two minutes to get out. So when you drill, show everyone two ways out of the house, pick a safe meeting spot, and get there in under two minutes. Then practice home fire drills at least twice a year. You can even make them fun. So everyone knows the sound and exactly what to do when they hear a smoke alarm. Go to ready.gov slash fire drill and learn how to prepare your family for home fires. Welcome back to AZF Arena. You are looking again at AZF Rink, where the Brockton Boxers are playing the Norwell Clippers. Norwell up for nothing. And as we enter this third period, we'd like to thank several people for making this such a wonderful production. We're going to start with Nick Halco, the coordinator slash director of the TV club over at Brockton High School. His supervisor, Sarah Richards, who we worked with for several years, is an outstanding individual. She uh, runs the art program for Brockton Public Schools, K through 12. Think about that for a minute. We'll get back to that in a second. Luke Norton looking for number four. Norton has a hat trick, a natural hat trick. As the Clippers just keep the pressure on. And Bridges can't clear it out. Sylvia does. And it's wound in Massaro. K 
kicks it over to Birmingham. Birmingham changes on the fly. Ooh, a good collision. And Norwell is, again, coming out banging bodies. Sylvia shot. Ennis, nice save. The pad save. Norwell with the potential break. Two on one, but broken up nicely by Birmingham. He would be our number one Brockton star if we ended right now, but there's a full period left as Bridges is banging bodies. Shot up high, blocked. Bridges clears it out. Brockton showing a little spirit. Trying to get something going here. And Birmingham tripped up, no call, play on. Clippers gain control of the puck. Sylvia, ooh, almost lost that one. Does lose it. And again, Norwell going aggressively into the corners. Any opportunity they can to lay some, lay some lumber, they do. A beautiful pass. Shot, see Masaro. Birmingham over to Sylvia. Winds it up. And out. We have a potential breakout for Brockton. And it's gobbled up by Ennis. As I said, we'd like to thank Sarah Richards, the director of arts for Brockton Public Schools, K through 12. Uh, that's about 17 to 18,000 students, ladies and gentlemen. Not too shabby. Nick Halco does a wonderful job with the TV club. And the students he brought along today will highlight at the next stoppage. The Clippers gain control. And a nice. So the following students from the Brockton High School TV Club are working with the Postman and I on this fine production. They are Antonio Melberg on audio. First time's a charm, Antonio. Well done. Harold Peterson, Haley Finn, Jenna Flood, Kirsten Alberts, Kayla Costello, and the best name of the bunch, Sten Bruno. Don't you wish you had a name like Sten Bruno? A football star, no less. Looking to get in the world of media as the Clippers break. And the puck's laying on front of the net. Somebody take it. As we have a scrum, it looks like a rugby game is broken out on the hockey rink. And while Brock, uh, Norwell is skating to the buck, Brockton seems, from the second period up to now, seems to be reaching, which means the skating isn't quite there as Norwell and Sam Williams. Oh, this one's getting chippy, folks. Play on, and we like that. Play on. As is an icing on the, on the floor or what we like to call in hockey, the ice. Again, all the students have done a fantastic job. Uh, Nick Halco has created a fine program over there, succeeding the TV club director of many years, Linda Taglia, who moved on to a different town. We have a foreign object on the ice, not sure what it is. But it's not interfering with play, so we play on. Clippers out with the puck. Oh, an excellent stop by Ben Martin. For school and for country, laid it out. The students at Brockton High, the TV club, they not only work with the BCA team on many productions. They do their own productions over at the school, cover sports that 
we don't normally cover. Volleyball, wrestling, swimming, and a host of other sports. Clippers shoot in. Massaro flashing the pad. Nicely done. Reggie Lemonen like as Peyton's place is in his wheelhouse. Sylvia over to Bridges. Bridges races up the ice. Looking to start something, anything. Bridges shoots. Blocked. Sound defense by the Clippers. They really packed it in there. Difficult to get through them on, all night. David Brockton has not had many shots that have gone through on net. Nice play by Birmingham. Using the entire body to get that puck. El Kami trying to clear it out. Does so. Over to Bridges. Bridges down in front. Oh, he hit the pipe. El Kami hit the pipe. And it's laid out. Dominic Hasek like. A shot high on Massaro. Sails over the head. And a save. Massaro's had a decent game tonight. Just peppered. Holding his own. Staying mentally tough. And that's the key to a good goalie. Some people say you have to be a little crazy to play hockey. And when you have a puck coming at you at whatever miles per hour, you have to be willing to take it. That's Massaro. Has had a solid year so far. Brockton, two on two, backhand. Ooh, they are going up high. But Ennis is telling them simply, nothing doing tonight, fellas. It's simply not happening. We're six minutes into the third period where the Clippers from Norwell will lead your Brockton boxes for nothing. Face off to the left of Venus, the right of Venus. As the Clippers, another odd man rush. Thrown on front of the net. And they simply haven't been able to connect on all those. If they did, this game would really be out of hand. As O'Connell loses an edge, loses the puck. Delayed offsides call. No, it's a penalty. And the penalty is on Harrison Reed, who had an assist earlier in the game. So as that season unfolds, uh, Brockton was is really without a league. The big three in hockey is no more. New Bedford and Durfee uh, due to lack of participation. Shot save. Another save by Ennis. Due to lack of participation uh, they had to join forces which you do see somewhat across the state where you have uh, school districts combining forces to put together a hockey program. You don't see it much in any other sport. But you do see it in hockey. Uh, it's Sylvia. Looks a little fatigued. But he's a grinder. And he's going to keep playing on. Several times tonight he's waved off his coaches. I'm not tired. I'm not coming off the ice. Because I want the puck. And I want to win. And that's what you like to see in a hockey player. As he grinds. Behind the net. Out front. Ooh. Ennis might have got a piece of that one. It was shot wide, or Ennis got a piece. Another shot. Save. Bridges couldn't get enough on it. And that tells the story tonight. He's frustrated, and I think the team in general might be a little frustrated. They've done what they can tonight. It just Norwell has just came out firing and just looked too strong. So Brockton is on the power play. 
Sylvia keeps it in. A shot save. That shot on, uh, shot on was put on by Dante Massaro. And the faceoff will be to the left of Ennis. The puck is clear. We have seven minutes remaining in the game. Norwell up for zip. Sylvie has the puck, winds up. Still 20 seconds left on the power play. Over to Birmingham. Birmingham working his way. Puts it on his shot. No goal. How did that not go in? I don't know. Oh, Sylvia getting beaten to the puck. Fatushia, who's had a solid game tonight. Bridges trying. Sylvia trying to go through the entire Norwell Clippers roster to no avail. And the puck is out. The power play is up, and we are at six minutes left in the third period. Puck is out. Sylvia gains control, dumps it out over to El Kami. Norwell right back at it, out in front. Ooh, dangerous hit by El Kami. And that is interference, boarding, whatever you want to name it. That was a dangerous hit. Fortunately, everybody's okay. As El Kami goes to the block for two minutes for, I believe, interference. Face off to the left of Massaro. One by Norwell. Clippers on the attack, setting up the power play. And we get a little back and forth. Rush the net. And I believe we have a, well, we have a stoppage in play. I do know that. And that just happened. All I know, folks, is the faceoff will be outside the Brockton end. No will did something wrong, and therefore, we have what we have. Norwell, again on the power play, back to the point. Cole Berglund put a shot on that. Brockton can't clear it out. A lot of room to work with. Sylvia battling out in front, trying to give his goalie as the puck is cleared. Trying to give his goalie a clear view as the Clippers come right back at it. Making a rush. And the puck is clear. Coach Cunningham still working it. Coachable moments, as we call them. When you're down big, they call it a teachable or a coachable moment. There's always something to gain, even from a loss. As Bridges battles along the boards, keeps the clock rolling. Clippers come out. Massaro, nice save. Right to the bread basket. We talked about it last game. It really is amazing that at one point in time, goaltenders did not wear helmets. Amazing. As the Clippers gain control on the power play, and the Mad Dog is calling in, so I'm going to answer. And you're going to hear me live tell him to go away. 
Hi, Matt. I'm announcing the game. Go away. And there you go, folks. That's the closest Mad Dog Matt Nelson will get to this game tonight. He's calling for some advice, no doubt. How do I announce a better game? Matt, be yourself, but not too much. As time is winding down in this game, the face-off will be in the Clippers' end. Saro wins the draw. Penalty is up. Brockton is, keep, is still grinding. And you like to see that, even though they're down four goals. The Clippers gain control. Kicked out. Sylvia does the same. Oh, and here we go. No one on a two on one. A shot. Oh, the save of the game. Dominic Massaro. A timeout on the ice. Brockton calls timeout with 2.53 left in the third period. It's the Clippers four, the Boxers zero. Again, before time runs out, we want to thank the Brockton High School TV Club for their great work. From the top down, Sarah Richards, Nick Halco, Antonio Melberg, Harold Peterson, Haley Finn, Jenna Flood, Kirsten Alberts, Kayla Costello, and last but certainly not least, Sten Bruno. Of course, we have the postman with another delivery tonight, working camera. Again, this could be, I haven't been at BCA the entire time of his existence, but I can say in the past several years, there hasn't been a production like this for a hockey game. And we have the Brockton High School TV Club to thank for that. Thank you, good citizens. Thank you. If you have a son, daughter, niece, nephew that is at the high school or is preparing to go to Brockton High School, we highly recommend you check out the TV club. All you got to do is ask for Mr. Nick Halco, and then they'll take care of the rest. Two and a half minutes left in the third. Brockton still grinding, looking for a score. If nothing else, to wipe the goose egg off the scoreboard. Sylvia, fortunately, a turn, uh, fortunately offside. Luke Norton looking for goal number four. We're going to do this a little bit early, but we do have our three stars tonight. Star number three. We have to have a Brockton, a Brockton player in there somewhere, and that would be none other than Al Birmingham. As Norwell comes on the rush. Massaro comes out. The net dislodges again, or there is a penalty. It looks like there might be a penalty, and there is. Peyton Sylvia. A tough end to his night. With just over two minutes left, he goes to the box. So the third star of the game is Al Birmingham. Star number two, captain for the Norwell Clippers, Eddie Fatushia. And then our number one star of the game, without question, with the natural hat trick, Luke Norton. There are your three stars of the game. Take it away, Ozzy.
For those of you in your 40s, who would have thunk that song would be played in every arena throughout our great land? Not back in the day. Norton looking for number four. Shoots wide. Dante. Massaro clears it out. Over to Bridges. Bridges, beautiful pass. Oh, can't connect. That was a nice backhanded drop pass. Just couldn't connect. Excellent idea by Bridges, who's had a pretty solid game as well. Just Birmingham for his two-way ability this evening and every other night. As the puck is cleared down the ice. Ooh. That one was rolling. And those are always tricky. As we approach a one minute left in this game between the Norwell Clippers and the Brockton Boxers. One minute left to play in the period. One minute. And we have an offside. Face off outside the Brockton zone. Brockton really starts to hit their stride as far as the schedule goes after this game. They have several games coming up, the vast majority of them at AZF and Rink. As the Clippers on the power play, looking for more. The puck is cleared out, Birmingham after it. 30 seconds left. As time winds down. Birmingham shot on net wide. And the puck is cleared in. The penalty is up. As we count down. The Norwell Clippers second period is the story of this game as the Clippers shut out your Brockton Boxers with the final score of four to nothing. As the season progresses, Mad Dog Matt Nelson will be incorporated into the rotation. Feedback is welcome. We again like, would like to thank the entire Brockton High School TV Club for their hard work and their initiative to make this happen. Thank you, Nick Halco and Sarah Richards, one more time. So again, the final score, four nothing. Norwell Clippers win. For postman Mike Simmons, I'm Jay Miller. Stay tuned as BCA Sports brings you all the action.